to another slow fashion video. It's Alyssa coming at you with another series of shopping my closet, of recreating looks using what I already have in my closet. I think this is such a fun exercise to get more wear out of the clothes you already have and really rethink your older items and create new outfits. So today I have some celebrity looks that I've pulled for you, three of them in fact, but if you like this kind of content like shopping your closet and slow fashion then hit subscribe below and tap the bell so you don't miss any new videos. I also have an Instagram account. I will pop that down here. But even more exciting than Instagram and subscribing is that I have a live Shop Your Closet event where rather than shop my own closet, I shop the closets of two very cool and awesome guests. So they have different bodies, they have different backgrounds and styles, so it's a really interesting way to understand how to pull apart a look without focusing so much on the clothes that you don't have, because that's what I think makes us shop way too much and it's just not great for ourselves or for the planet. So really understanding elements of style is what I do in these live studio events and it's very interactive. It's not just me talking at you because I mean, I already do it once a week. So this is really interactive. You actually get to help me break down the looks and style these two wonderful guests. We also have a Q&A and you are also able to submit your looks based on the outfits that we've chosen to recreate for the live studio. So there's a lot. We do it all in two hours and this is the last one before we take a little break for the summer. We'll restart in September. So if you've never been or if you want to just kind of look at your closet with fresh eyes as as we start a new season, this would be so much fun. I will leave all of the details in the description box below, but I should probably tell you when it is. Uh, June 26th, Saturday, 1 p.m. EST. I hope to see you there. Let's jump on in. This first look I've chosen is by Mindy Kaling, or maybe it was her stylist who put this together. I don't know. I think it's pretty fabulous. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone because Mindy's style is way more playful and a little bit quirky, not at all like my own. So I thought this would be a good challenge. So the first thing that I do before jumping into my closet is I pick out some key themes in the outfit. And the first key theme here is a play on textures. She's got a really like silky and sleek skirt paired with a knit. Another theme is color coordination in her accessories with the pop of color in her skirt. There's already a lot of print mixing going on, which is another theme that I think is pretty apparent. I also really like her use of lines here. She's using these nice vertical lines with the pleats in the skirt and the deep V to make this look feel a little bit more contemporary and a little bit more feminine. I mentioned that her style is pretty quirky and I think understanding the overall essence of a certain look is really important to help us pull pieces from our closet or at least maybe style them in a certain way that makes it feel a little bit more like the vibe of our original look. So those are the key themes that I spotted. So now I'm ready to go back into my closet and be more intentional about the items that I put together. And I think this is what really pulls the focus away from getting discouraged with my closet and thinking that I don't have these pieces so I have to go out and buy them when I don't think that's the case at all. So. I have a pleated skirt, but the top is gonna be a little bit tricky. I definitely don't have a printed knit top, but I do have this simple knit tank that I found secondhand. Again, it doesn't have a print. Is this the end of the world? No, not at all. So I'm gonna go put these on and then I'll build the rest of the look with you because I think there's like all those little styling tweaks and things that um, I think you might like to see instead of me just showing you the final product, but you let me know if you like this format or if you prefer the other way I used to do it. Okay, so here's this combination. Definitely not as interesting, but the first thing that I notice is that her top isn't tucked in, like it's just kind of falling, and I have to say this is definitely not how I would typically wear this, but for the sake of solid recreation, I'm just gonna leave it out and see what happens. Her next thing is the shoes. I definitely do not have animal print shoes. No, I don't. So I think the whole point here is to just make sure that I have something that is like a standout shoe. These little mules, because they've got black in them, I'm pretty confident that, you know, as wild as they are, 
this will still work. Yeah. What does she have next? Oh, a baseball cap purse. Of course, because everybody has one of those. I feel, I feel like this is my best bet. And she's also got quite a bit of jewelry. So I'm gonna layer another necklace just to get that chunkier effect. And what else? Ooh, she's got a lot of bracelets. I think I'd like to accentuate my waist a little bit more. So you know what? Here. Thinking you knew better than the other guys Riding on back biting and get away with lies Okay, this next look is by Victoria Beckham, one of my favorite, favorite style icons and people to get inspiration from. I just love her tailored looks. And I like this look in particular because I know some of you are probably going into winter. So I thought this was a very like transitional season and cooler weather look. So if I'm looking at the key themes in this look, I would definitely say the fit and the silhouette are what I think makes this look sing. Everything is super sharp and tailored. The other big theme that is making this look shine is the beautiful use of color. Red and baby blue are probably my most favorite color combination right now. Although these color combinations feel bold and really interesting. They're softened by the white in the pants. Those are the two major themes that I see and there's a couple of little styling tweaks in there as well like the fact that she's buttoned up her collar all the way to her throat really makes this look feel like tight and sharp. And the other thing she's done however is scrunched up the sleeves of the sweater and the shirt underneath which makes it feel really relaxed. So it's this really beautiful balance of sleek and polished with relaxed and easy. So now that I've come up with those themes, I can jump into my closet. And the first thing I'm gonna start with is the pants. Um, they're actually part of my vintage suit. It doesn't have that beautiful white and tan check pattern, but I do hope that that color as a base will help soften whatever I end up with on top. So I've got these two items. Um, but my worry is that the sweater, it's got almost like a boyfriend fit. So there's a little bit more volume. It's not as fitted as I would like. But because I'm so wary of it, I want a little bit of a plan B. I'm gonna grab this sweater because it's a lot closer to the body and fitted, and it has a lot more structure to it. I'm gonna grab this. It's not... Uh, baby blue. It has a print, so maybe I'm compensating for not having a print in the trousers. There we go. Okay. I debated editing out like the 5,000 hours uh, it takes to flatten giant shirts out and tuck them properly into pants, and I am really feeling like this is gonna be a fail. Not horrible. Okay, here's where I think there is an issue. I think the neckline of this is a little bit too big, so we really can't appreciate the the sharpness of the buttoned up collar. And because the whole point of the silhouette was to be a little bit more fitted, the way I can achieve that with this kind of silhouette is by doing a little bit of a tuck, maybe. For shoes, I would wear my Manolos, and the whole vibe of this look is like sleek and streamlined, um, so I don't want to have like a contrast or anything too crazy happening at my feet. Can I balance? The answer is no. So what do you think? I think we really nailed the color play here, but I really want to try different silhouettes. Last look is by Liu Wen. This is actually from an editorial in a magazine, so I don't think this is 
super reflective of her style, but I really liked this spread. It's actually from 2015, but I really liked the silhouette. I liked the combination of really classic and staple items. So here's how I would break this look down. I think the first very important theme is that really interesting mix of styles. There's this really ladylike skirt with a very casual top and denim jacket. The other big theme is this oversized proportion in the jacket mixed with a really feminine midi hemline. So there's a lot of balancing between different proportions and different styles going on here. Now, when it comes to my own closet, uh, I think I'm gonna start with the skirt because I have a midi skirt. It doesn't have that little flounce at the bottom, but it is lace. So I'm getting that midi hemline proportion, which is good. And I still get that feminine or that ladylike feeling by the texture. The only striped top I have is this one here. It's a men's. Still have that oversized look, which I think will contrast really nicely with the lace skirt. My denim jacket. Mine is not oversized like hers. So I'm losing a bit of that proportion play but I think you don't necessarily have to have a denim jacket. What I love about this look is that the base is so neutral and easy. You could have like one of those green army surplus jackets. It could even be an oversized blazer that you have. Okay, so here's the base of this look. Uh, already, I'm kind of loving it. I never would have put these pieces together, so I feel like I'm already winning. For the shoes, I've got these. The bag that she's got is like this light brown. It almost looks like a little canvas kind of bag. So, I don't know. Like, I don't know if this is gonna be too wild. Dare I use this? A little basket bag. I actually think it works. Graves. Never mind how I tried to leave you behind. I kept falling. So that is what I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to grab a ticket to the Live Shop Your Closet studio in the description box below. Let me know if you thought those looks were a hit or a miss. Uh, and if you learned something or like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. A huge thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next Slow Fashion video. Ciao!